Hello YouTube, welcome to the channel. If you get something out of the content that I put up here, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe and give me a like on these videos. It can make a real difference in the algorithms and how they share content with other channels. Also, if you're interested in some one-on-one -on -one Skype sessions, you'll find a good email on me in the description of every video I put up. Okay, outlining chords. That just means we're going to play the intervals of those chords or arpeggiate them, which is arguably the most important thing that a musician could learn on the instrument that they choose to play. I want to demonstrate it in the key of A. I have similar content from the early days of the channel where I did this in the G scale or in G position, whatever you wanted to call it. And so many times that content just feels like it's buried on the channel. So this is going to be following the chord scale with a series of arpeggios. And rather than refer you to a chord scale video, I want to break that down so that the whole thing's kind of packaged together. I'm going to start with an A chord, barred at the second fret. Then I have the fourth fret of the A string and the fifth fret of the E string. Now that gives us the whole chord. Here's the root note of A. Then we have the fifth scale degree, one, two, three, four, five. And then we're playing our third here, one, two, three. That C sharp is the third of our A chord. So with that chord, and I know that those notes are all coming right out of the A scale, if I go to the next interval of the A scale from each of those notes, it would form a B minor chord. That's how the chord scale works. Then I would move up to C sharp minor, doing the same thing. Then to the ones we may be most familiar with, a D major to an E major. That's your one, four, and five. After the fifth, we're going to have the relative minor. This, is, this one gets pointed out all the time. In this case, it's an F-sharp minor chord. Then the seventh chord would be an A-flat half diminished. I know that's getting a little ridiculous. I'm just doing it this way to see it move up the neck. And then we would be back to an A all the way up here. If we were playing it that way. So I'm going to play those chords now as a series of arpeggios in first position. So there we have the arpeggios, and this is, and I know you're seeing it already, this is definitely Eat Your Vegetables Day. But that's a really good thing because when we play those chords like this, and it's nice and slow like that, those intervals have a chance to kind of fall on your ear in a, in a way that connects us to the fretboard and makes our ear better. If you're improvising in the key of A or learning a new melody, the fact that you've done this is going to make you better at improvising and, and learning new things by ear, not being uh, as dependent on tab could be in your future. So let me break these down. The A chord, there's the root, then the third, one, two, three, then the fifth, one, two, three, four, five, and then we're playing another A note. And we're going to do that all the way through the scale. So every interval of the A scale is going to be the starting point of one of these chords or arpeggios as we outline these. So here's our A major that we just broke down. Now the B minor, here's the root note of B. Then we have a minor third, one, two, three. Now one, two, three, four, five, that's going to be our next note. And then another B note. It's following that same formula of building the chords on intervals of three. Now the C sharp minor, that's going to be closed position. 
that may feel familiar to some of you guys. We got our C sharp on the sixth fret of the G string. The minor third is an E note, second fret of the D. Then we have the fifth scale degree, which is an A flat on the sixth fret of the D string. And then another C sharp on the fourth fret of the A string. Okay, the next one's D major. You probably recognize that. Open four, open five on the D and the A string. Okay, now E major. There we have it. E note, third above, one, two, three. Then the fifth, one, two, three, four, five. There we've outlined the chord. And then we play another E note. Okay, now F sharp minor. Just think about how things are movable on the fretboard. If B minor was here, F sharp minor would be directly below that because this is an F sharp note. And it's that six minor. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're starting on that note. Which leads us to the seventh chord. That's an A flat. Half diminished. Let's build that. One, two, three. There's our third. Now we go a third above that. One, two, three. There's no E flat note. Our tendency would be to play that as an A flat minor, but it's not. Here's where we see that half diminished chord happen. Here's the root. Third. One, two, three, four, five. Then another A flat note. And you can just feel that pull us into the high A. So I'm going to play through those without talking over it now. Incredible how much this can help to build your ear. And this type of work, you know, it's the kind of thing you want to do it and then just get to the point that you don't think about it and let the kind of the magic that happens through doing some of this, if you never have, influence your playing and your connection to the fretboard.